How to recover your Microsoft Authenticator codes if you have lost your phones or something similar has happened. You have landed on the right video. There are at least four solutions to how you can recover your codes and I will show you all of them in this video. Normally on our channel, learn to make honest money online, I help you to make money online every single day. For example, with trading, as you can see here, I earn tens of thousands of dollars with this one, thousands of dollars with another trade. With trading bots, for example, the current bot made more than $1,700 automatically. And then also automated money-making methods, such as Bybit Earn, where you earn money automatically, as you have seen on my playlist, Earn Money on Bybit. I will again leave you links and resources in the description below the video for you to make money online. But let's start going through different ways how you can recover your Microsoft Authenticator. Remember that if the method number one for recovering is not available for you, move to number two. If method number two isn't available for you, move to number three. So what's all of these recovery methods? And after that, I will also give you a last resort solution. The most common way to recover your Microsoft Authenticator codes is using this cloud backup. When you open your Authenticator app and you go to settings, there is this box that says cloud backup. And when that box is blue, it means that your codes are being backed up into your recovery account, which is oftentimes your Outlook or Hotmail or something like that. If you have done it, now you can simply log in and access the codes from your recovery account. So you open the Microsoft Authenticator, set up your recovery account and you get the codes from your cloud backup. Keep in mind that if you are doing this cloud backup and somebody gets access to your recovery account, they may access your authenticator's code too. So that is the trade-off of using the cloud backup that you are taking. If you don't have this cloud backup, which is typically the most common and the easiest way, let's go through the next solution, which is number two. When you are setting up Google Authenticator for different websites like Binance, for example, where I made more than $19,000 automatically with this bot, they usually give you a list of recovery codes. It may seem something like this. And it says recovery codes are the backup codes to access your account in case you cannot receive two-factor authenticator codes via the authenticator app. So you have lost your phone or whatever has happened. Then you might use these recovery codes. Binance may provide them or Bybit or whatever platform you are using, the authenticator. Usually when you set it up, they provide these codes. Not every website, but many of them do. So now you may have your recovery codes in a digital form, which may not be recommended because if somebody access them, then they get access to your authenticator codes. Or you may have printed, you may have it on a physical paper, and now you can access that physical paper, find it wherever you have put it and start putting one of these codes into your authenticator app. You don't need all of these. Only one is enough for you to recover your codes. If you don't remember immediately where are your codes, go through the back in time when you have set up your Google Authenticator and then you might remember where to find that piece of paper or digitally where to find your recovery codes. Again, keep in mind that if you are keeping this recovery codes anywhere. If somebody gets access to them, they can access your authenticator account and codes as well. So keep that in mind. There is always that trade-off with these backup methods. If you don't have a code backup, don't worry. Let's move into the next and the third solution. The third solution is having a backup device. So instead of having those backup codes or the cloud backup, you can have a device, a physical device that can be, for example, an old phone or perhaps a tablet device and there you have set up your authenticator so now if you have lost your primary phone you still have your other phone where you have the authenticator and now you can access the codes from there or you 
you may have a tablet device and there you have set up also the authenticator the same way now from your tablet you can recover your codes you have the codes there and everything is great keep in mind here again that if somebody gets access to your backup device they may access your authenticator codes too of course just having the physical access may not be enough because they still need to log in and unlock the phone but still you must be aware of these risks whenever you are using any backup method none of them is perfect everything has always trade-offs when it comes to safety and security if you don't have any of these backup methods you don't have a cloud backup you don't have a code backup you don't have a backup device then you must move into the solution number four and that is reset you go through each service a website or mobile app connected to your authenticator one by one and you reset all of them this may take quite a while as you can imagine but this is the way how you can access your code if you have lost your phone and all the backups let me give you examples starting from bybit for example if you are making money on bybit like i am doing and many of my youtube subscribers are making money automatically on this website so now you can go to the google website you can type here reset microsoft authenticator Bybit or can be Google Authenticator, whatever authenticator you are using. And here it says how to recover your Google Authenticator code. It can be also Microsoft Authenticator. And here they have the instructions. You can see here. They explain all these things that I have also explained earlier. And then the ultimate solution is here on the bottom. You can see here for users who cannot receive the verification code to Google Authenticator due to permanent loss of mobile phone number or email address, please submit a case manually via this link. And then it says our customer support team will contact you within one to three days. But of course, first, before you go into this one, you contact them here, uh, go through their suggestions here. They basically go through the same things what I explained to you earlier. So you access your codes from the backup and then the ultimate resources contacting their support. What about Binance, for example, the biggest crypto exchange in the universe where many of our subscribers make money with automated bots as I am doing? Same process. You go to Google, you type reset my Microsoft Authenticator Binance and then you click here how to reset two-factor authentication Binance this one is for the Binance US but the process is the same also for the international so here they explain the details they have a video you can go through the instructions through a mobile app you can see here step by step or also in the website they explain the steps but the idea there is also the same so first they ask you to get access to your backup codes if you don't have any backup then the ultimate is contacting their support and then when you contact your support you understand when you are doing this kind of resets it may take some time it may not be immediate so have some patience it may take several days in some websites or some services it may take even a couple of weeks because they need to verify that you are really the owner of the account this is for the safety measure because if some random person could just contact the support and say hey uh, can you reset the Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator of this person? They couldn't do it, you know, because they need to verify. You need to prove that you are really the owner. And that usually includes writing, for example, a piece of paper, date, and then taking a selfie, perhaps via a passport or another identity verification. So there is a process that you need to go through to verify your personality, your identity, and then they may be able to reset it but remember have some patience the process works you simply need to contact the support if you want to reset but that again only if you don't have any backups available now some of you have asked in my previous videos that hey what if the service that i have been using doesn't have as good as for example bybit or binance or other websites that have recovery instructions and they have also the customer support what if you are using a website or service that doesn't allow the reset first of all bybit binance usually all crypto exchanges allowed you to reset 
set your account. So that shouldn't be a problem with most of the websites that we talk about on our channel. Now, if you are using some uh, random website or something that doesn't allow contacting the support and doing the reset, then the last resort is ultimately create a new account and then you simply back it up better next time. So you back it up on a cloud or code or backup device, one of those three methods. Keep in mind also the trade-off and that's what you do. But again, that is not usually the case, for example, with crypto exchanges or something like that, what we talk on our channel. If you are thinking, does your service have it? You can simply type on Google, reset Microsoft Authenticator, and then whatever platform you are using here, Bybit, Binance. If you are using KuCoin, you can do that one. If you are using, let's say, OKX, try that one. They provide the instructions transparently. Once you have gained the access again to your Microsoft Authenticator and everything is working perfectly, you are ready to start earning money online. For example, with trading as I and my subscribers are doing, with automated money-making methods like automated bots, and also with automated earn accounts and many other ways, even the free methods that you learn on my channel. So if you want to learn to make money on Bybit, I have created for you an ultimate playlist called Earn Money on Bybit. You can simply take one of your fingers right now, click right here in the corner, and you will learn many different ways to make money on this website and mobile app. So see you on the next video immediately.